Wedged between the intermingling waters of the Bay of Bengal, the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean lies the town of Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of India. Long renowned for its glorious sunrises and sunsets, the past two decades have bestowed on it another beautiful attraction. To spot it, all you need to do is to raise your head and look up. Once populated by impoverished fishing villages, the area around Kanyakumari is now transformed into the nation's hub for wind energy, a showcase for India's $2 billion clean energy program, producing 1,500 megawatts, almost 20% of the country's entire wind energy production. Most of these wind farms are concentrated in a 19-mile stretch between Kanyakumari and Mukunda. Mupandal, a hilly region with the ocean winds racing in from mountain passes. With access to the seasonal monsoon winds, it is a perfect location for wind farms. With the Government of India offering tax breaks and subsidies to foreign companies for setting up these projects, India has rapidly expanded its wind generation capacity, becoming the world's fourth largest producer of wind energy. The first wave of expansion in 1993 was supported by a $26 million grant by the Global Environment Facility and the World Bank. Jeff's objectives were to catalyze wind energy investments by strengthening IREDA's capacity as the implementing agency to promote private investments in the sector. Tamil Nadu Newsprint and Papers Limited was one of the first public sector companies to avail this financing and set up a wind farm facility in the region. After uh, 1993, we have been maintained that 15 megawatt wind farm. Uh, since the year 2001 to the year 2007, the capacity addition have been made. And we have uh, put four numbers of 750 kilowatt machines and 14 numbers of 1250 kilowatt machines. In total, now the present capacity of TNPL wind farm is 35.5 megawatt. TNPL's capacity expansion is a good indicator of the profitability of the wind energy sector. It is this profitability that has attracted the leading wind energy companies to invest in India. The economic benefits of this rapid development have also meant a dramatic improvement in the life of the local community. The winds of change have quite literally swept through Mupandal, ushering in happier times increased land prices, improved quality and availability of power, better roads and, of course, a new avenue of employment. They are getting uh, so much of employment, direct, both direct and indirect employment opportunities here. And we regularly employing uh, some unskilled labors also for some other works, in addition to the regular uh, technical manpower. Raj Kumar is one such worker who is employed at TNPL's Mupandal facility. In the past, there was a lot of ground. In this area, there was a lot of ground. There was a lot of ground. There was a lot of ground. There was a lot of ground in the wind mill. There was a lot of ground in the area. There was a lot of ground in the area. There was a lot of ground in the area. There was a lot of ground in the area. Even as the sun sets in Mupandal, the windmills continue their tireless dance against the fading sky. They whisper happy tidings of the things to come. A cleaner, greener, more prosperous future, full of light.